what about this? This is the intro. Yeah. Very good. This is my preferred version of the song. Did you see that at the end there, Gabe? I'm not sure which thing you mean. There's a lot of things that's very fast paced. I like the fact that they're little 8 bit boys and they just, just run it. Alright, so Cassie. Hello. Goodbye to spare. I did notice one thing when I was doing this though. What? That's a Byaki Togami. Did it? That's crazy. He put on some weight since the last game. That's crazy. I guess he felt bad for not having a Fumi around. He was like, damn, the fat bitch died. I must become the fat bitch. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess we're good to go. Just make sure... Let's see... Yeah, sure, why not? From the beginning, we are playing with English audio. This is okay. Uh, did I do kind or mean last time? Uh, kind. Because it's normal. I do gentle. Because I like to have fun. You are a wimp. Also, nothing about the last hey. game was difficult. By the way, Gabe, before we start this, I just want to mention in the anime, in the DR3 anime, one of the voice actors for a character is Kaiju Nekko. Oh, nice. I don't like it, because I like the original voice more, but that's fun. Well, yeah, but if they can't get the original voice, Kaiser is always a great substitute. Yeah, just that's the problem. Kaiser. Games versus the anime. Yeah, Kaiser's great in general. I love the guy. Also, uh, I realized... Uh, guys, welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. This time, Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. It, we never actually said that. I mean, we kind of yeah, watched we were the intro. Busy. We were busy. Talking about Togami, <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? Oh, hi, not Makoto Naegi. Are you okay? I say that it's... because you just look—you just look like Super Saiyan M Makoto Naegi. You seem pretty I mean... out of it. He's voiced this is by what... Bryce Pappenbrook, too, so that's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is the person who looks like what N Makoto should have been at the end of the last trial of the last game or, sounds like him, too. Or, or his jacket doesn't have stupid fucking zippers that go all the way up the hood, so it's not as dumb look. That's all I'm saying. Hey, to be fair, he's finally not shutting himself out from the rest of the world. Because that's what that that's what that zipper jacket does. You can literally shut your head entirely. To be honest, I'm also no. Everyone else feels the same too, since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that formed in my mind. Think, 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 think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what had actually happened. That's right, I... I... Starting PCS version 101. That's a lot of numbers. Ooh, a heart! Mm hmm. Okay, Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, game start. Also, I just 
I was thinking okay. last night, I was like, oh no, new voices. I'm not ready for this. Yeah, I uh, will have to come up with them on the fly because I don't know any of these characters. That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. I got accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> when the long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I'd just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Actually, that's exactly what it was like. It was... I was truly in a dream. Uh... I was joking. Wait, that <laughs> symbol, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... Was that... By the way, I never even asked in the last game. Was that actually the Hope's Peak Academy symbol, or was that yeah, the Monokuma version? Okay. No, nope, that's because the real one. I that's don't the eye of why. Monokuma. Yeah. Don't know, I man. Don't know what, I don't know uh, what that is if not Monokuma. Which makes you... So, real talk, since we didn't do it at the end of the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, it all came down to that one character being the main bad and blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't explain what's with Monokuma. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is with Monokuma? Thinking back on it, Mon like with all the setup that it happened, Monokuma has no reason to be there. That's crazy. Let alone to exist. Because the person who made Monokuma, quote-unquote, or at least was using Monokuma, had no reason to be able to build Monokuma while they were all setting that up. That's crazy. Yeah, so there's a lot of question marks here. Was Monokuma just supposed to be a robot butler for that place, and then he was taken over by Mr. Evil? Hope's Peak Maybe Academy. Maybe you'll that find out. That place is so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to play soccer would you, will long to join a rep team. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope Speak Academy, because I was a student, and that's literally just all I am as a character. I am Mr. Student. I'm the ultimate student. No. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. It recruits top students from every imaginable field and inspire hope and in doing so shape the future. Is this the same as last time? Which, whenever Hope Speak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of the school. Well, that's basically what Hope Speak Academy isn't all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet to, in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that is how Hope Speak Academy operates. Now, because of the talent of those who are chosen, the students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to go to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything else, the truth is my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. Anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Hello, Adachi! Hello, uh, young Bosch. Yes. Adachi! Slash you, Narakami! It's good to see you, man! What are you doing? Who wants to talk about murders? You really like protagonists, <laughs> don't you, Johnny? Well, he was the antagonist, too. <laughs> you really like being a main character. Who wants to talk about dead bodies? Who wants to talk about murders? People that like Danganronpa. Oh, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should Even though it. nobody dies in Danganronpa, Gabe. No, there are no murders. There's no war in bossing. My name is Hajime Hinata. Not that. There's only right. one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity. Or, in fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone I can be proud of. I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always, 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 until now, I never want to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why, hope, I might have...
admired in talent and eventuality, but I have finally forever tried my best, finally came true with the... Huh? What is this? It's a door. <laughs> oh wow! And we have the main character of Persona 3! <laughs> There's the door. Persona. persona, persona, persona. Social link, social link, social link. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Me? What need? No, I should hurry. Yakia, you're not a high school student. I don't care what you say. You graduated, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Huh? Uh... Yeah, I have no idea which characters I'll love and which ones I'll hate. Biakia what about there, designs? So... Look at designs. Yeah, I am. So, there's Titty in the background. Okay. There is, uh, there is, like, childhood best friend level character who reminds me of Sayaka right in the front. There is Priestess over there. There's Chef. There's Badass with a Sword. Ninja in the background. Byakuya Togami. So, I, I feel like three of these characters could very easily be best friend childhood character. Far left, sitting at the desk, and then right at the front with the bandages. And <laughs> I didn't even notice him in the background. Far in the background, right in the center? Yeah. I like him. I don't know why I like him. Just because he's staring directly at me in the background, just like, <laughs> That's That's my impressions right now. Um, are you feeling alright? You look quite pale. Um... Hey, could you be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? Uh, then... You're all... See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys? Everyone? The freshmen who were accepted to Hope's Peak Academy, the Ultimates? I assume... Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? I don't even- he can't have the same voice. His vocal cords must be strangled right now. Does he sound the same? Yeah. Okay. He hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Eh? I- yes, of course. Oh my god, it's gonna be even harder to tell who's talking now. I mean, it says their name. Yes, but I'm staring at the text, not the name every time. Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like me. Also, it shows right. you the music playing in the top left corner and the name. So that's oh. cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it showed, like, music before, but, you know, I actually appreciate the name being there now. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. That's to hide my nervousness from the others, and I'm trying my best to act cool. Food and those bash. I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat in the back of the classroom. Is it a window seat? Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Um, excuse me? What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here, so is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? All clear. Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Okay. What's <laughs> Punk gonna have? Um... So, I was actually writing this down and thinking about it. I couldn't decide for two, but, um... I 
kind of just decided on Valley Girl for her. Ew. Well. I hate it. I'm sorry, but there's not much. They they all kind of sound similar in this one, so there's really no way to differentiate them, like from with my own voice. Uh. Is this everyone? How do you know? <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom. And this guy is the 16th student. Mikuro Ikusawa. Playing, <laughs> playing hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. You're welcome. Oh, that's really Dave, funny. You know, PTSD. Oh, uh, fuck. I hit the controller. Sorry. I hit the, cord, the cords on the front of my computer are loose as shit. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Is this a guy? Yes, but also let me give okay. you a hint. Um, he's the Mineta of this classroom. Ew. Really? Have fun. But he's better <laughs> than Mineta, in my opinion. I didn't like him the first time I played, but I've warmed up to him. Just what are we going to talk about? That fun? Yeah, he's voiced by Todd Habercorn, so. The reason we're all together gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's faces. Not one person raised their hand. I mean, I do. There was a door, you know, like a date escape, and I went through it. I see. So before you realize that you were in this classroom, then anyone, everyone here in the same, is in the same predicament. Very yeah. Strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid-looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? So I gave this one my normal voice just because I'm lazy. Go for uh, it. It sure is. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey. Hey. What do you mean, stupid-looking? So in other words. The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here and you don't know why. That is my experience before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Eh? That dizziness wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird! Even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Never say that again. What? So you're saying it's not just a coincidence, then? Huh? I mean, she said that. So in well, other not words... quite, but this doesn't matter. I was curious about the voice. Meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's... responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to get even stranger. I don't know what you're so worried about. That doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? Eh? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. I mean, we Instead are all high to... school students. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should just try to figure out why we can't leave. Fuck. Reading list. Reading list. I didn't put her on the list! Shit! forgot about her. She's not on the not list! Her. She's not on the list! Yeah, damn it. Um, I have no idea. I mean, make her sound a little bit Russian, a little bit, a little bit uh -huh. punk. A Russian punk. No. Do it. No. Do the voice. You don't have to keep it, just do it. I think I'll just try to do a deeper voice for her, because not many of them have a deeper voice. What do you mean we can't leave? <laughs> That's funny. Seriously? I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Clatter, clatter, clatter. Huh? It won't open! I can't open it! Huh? What? Why? A little after I got here, I tried to leave. To go take a shit. <laughs> that door wouldn't budge at all. Oh, I love you. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on? Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely possible for all of you. 
Okay, <laughs> so for her, I literally just picked Celeste's voice, but like actually a woman instead of a redneck, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you couldn't open it? Wow, that's not possible. She's right, it's impossible. Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. <laughs> this is one of the other ones that I couldn't pick for. Hey, we love it. Um, there are too many characters. I know nobody yeah. dies in Dying Rapper, but I need you guys to die. Um, uh, I really expected you to be on top of things. Hey, I literally came up with everything besides three because I forgot about one person. Sue me. Sorry. <sighs> three out of like seven. <laughs> Half. Nine, actually. Thank you very much. But anyway. Wait, nine of them are girls? Yeah. Two, Ew. Six. <laughs> I don't uh, get anything. <laughs> I can't have shit out here in Detroit. Okay, yeah. okay, I think I'm just gonna try to go with enunciation here and monotone. Though I, mm, mm, mm. though I do not understand what forces are at work here. <laughs> There's no denying we have all been locked inside this classroom. I have no idea what that is. Locked inside. The entire game takes place in this one room. If you want to hang out with somebody, you have to drag them to the one corner alone by themselves and talk to them. Exactly. What do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt, as though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? Species. Or perhaps it doesn't make sense to think that this is the entrance exam. The entrance again. Exam, you mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... But according to the man... The, to the mana, sorry. But according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They say... They may say that publicly, but it's possible this is actually a special entrance That's exam. Wrong. This is what makes it nine. You're wrong! This is not an entrance exam! That was kind of loud. I know, that's the point. No, like, loud, directly in my ear, you peeked. Let me know. What? Point. What was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass! Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? What is that? Huh? Deep. Then who's is it? <laughs> you just sound dumb. I mean, <laughs> okay, that's just so fit. It's actually mine! Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's Hello. desk? All right, yeah. I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. She's just gonna yell, I guess. Maybe she yells a lot anyway. So, what? Uh, what real talk to that? the audience. I've met this character. Because I started doing the school mode, the like post game story thing of Danganronpa One to try to get the achievements. I wanted to get all the achievements for Danganronpa One before we started this, but it'll probably be before the next time we play this game. I'm pretty close. Um, she pops up through time travel? Question mark. It's very confusing. Um, it looks like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Magical Miracle Girl Usami. Usami. AKA Usami. Hey, Usami. I may I not look it. like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. Nice to meet you all. 
Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seen this? What's going on? No, I see it too. Huh? What's with this talking chihuahua? That's a chihuahua? Everyone. Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am. A singing, dancing, talking rabbit, rabbit mascot. Rabbit. You're a rabbi? My mouth. This is not how to speak words. Sometimes. Somebody once told me the world was macaroni. I ain't the sharpest noodle in the salad. Yeah, what I really need to do after this recording session is figure out and have you start just recording your own audio so I can adjust the levels freely on a voice to voice basis. I ain't that about a bit. So yeah, you're gonna have to start recording. Not now, but I mean, next recording. I session. used to. Yeah, but we haven't. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, it doesn't look too lifelike. That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just Come said, on. it seems you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. What did you say? School trip? Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher? It's the biggest event of the school year! We're... Uh, I... Okay, so I've been trying to think of how to do his voice because it can't just be my normal one. Just because it can't be. Just because I'm giving that over to... Nagito, I think his name was? The one who's a just... A little bit Nagi deeper would be fine. Sign. Just a little bit deeper. Then you looking for a literal answer. answer. We're not looking through a little rise. Whatever. Exact opposite of what I said. Now let's depart for the fun school trip! Depart? Hopes and dreams fade away. Oh? Why do you think so the special mode was called Island Mode, Gabe? I mean, I wouldn't have known that if Cal hadn't told me yesterday. Huh? I couldn't believe my eyes. There were a million fireflies. Also, oh, this is Usami's theme. I'm done for it. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me was instead. Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. Um. Um. Whoa, 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 what? Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency! Wh where are we? Why? What's going on? Everyone! Everyone! Please stay calm! <laughs> There's no reason to panic. See? Look around! Feast your eyes on the beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we at? Um, where you ask? Well, obviously we're <laughs> out where it's better, out where it's wetter. 
Um. Out by the sea! Did they just Disney us? They'll never admit to it because then they would get NDA. Not NDA, um, Susan just says. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um. You know your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that! <laughs> Will it? Will it? Because it didn't sound very intense. Something like this. But we were just at school and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That that's all. Hold on a sec. But like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. So this is just Junko's voice and I appreciate that. I mean... Just it's not as dumb. She's family girl. Mm -hmm. She's right. We're all just supposed to be attending Hope Speak Academy. I see. Ah, Hope Speak Academy. I see. I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope Speak Academy. Then in that case, Alrighty. please forget about Hope Speak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you scheming? What? what, what, what? I'm not scheming anything! I'm doing this for everyone's sake! I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart! No problem! There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever, so please, there is no, no need to say. worry about- to worry at all! <laughs> Wait! Island? Did you just say island? Yup, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people in danger. Are you saying that this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us here to the uninhabited island to make us kill each other. Wawa! Kill each other? Bloody business like causing violence or inflicting pain is a big no-no on this island. Even the word kill, to say it horrifies me. Yeah. Yeah, it's so scary. What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That's the main rule of this heart-throbbing school trip! What did you say? Heart-throbbing school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truthfully, this lovey-dovey heart-throbbing school trip is... <laughs> everyone's homework! What? What the hell does it even mean? Now then, let the heart throbbing let school trip begin. I got you. It goes without you. saying, but I have no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't fall her words at all. I mean, they were pretty and easy. And then just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering. Well, at this point, their gears are probably still trying to turn. They're probably just stalling because they're in shock. They thought they were in a classroom. My mind ground to a halt. Hell yeah, here's the actual intro. No way I can read these names. Yeah, that's fine. I think we do introductions soon. Hopefully. So that she starts saying names on the side of the screen. Shoot for the stars.
Oh, yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, hey, we're back to the okay? beginning of the game. You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone we else... We just got... I bet you too. wonder how I got here. Yeah. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey, are you listening? Hey. Are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they're working that pale. White sandy beach, crystal blue ocean, the sun's rays beating down on me, the soft tropical wind brushing my skin. I definitely don't know what's going on. I was supposed to attend Hope Speak Academy. Why did this... Why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit said we're on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with absolute certainty. Welcome to Dongan Island. I'll explain the basic controls to you. With well, the left stick, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the A button. You can then examine that person or object. You can also shift your point of view with the right stick. Plus, if you use the diamond button, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. I'm assuming that's my Y button, I think? The world sure has become super convenient if you're able to do all this from the get-go. Now then, please search the beach thoroughly and progress the story. Yes, it's the Y button. Huh? Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What's it being used for? I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now it's not the time for me to be impressed by it. Guess I can interact with this. Mm, is that a camera? Surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? What happens if we trip right. that? I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Pest not to worry. What's with this guy? How can he be so calm in a situation like this? Maybe he's just a chill guy. Yeah, well, I guess I talked to him now. Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation. Real quick, Gabe. I mean. Yeah? Um, what talent do you think he has? Him? Yeah. Well, considering he's Super Saiyan Makoto Nayagi, he's either... Well, he's not Ultimate Lucky because Makoto was never Ultimate Lucky, which means he's the Ultimate Hope. Okay. I don't, I don't have any idea. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's just Super Saiyan Makoto Nayagi, so... The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect for a tropical island. Just, what's going on here? I never want anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calmed down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But, why don't we start with an introduction? Give me just a minute. I'm going to actually go grab a drink, because I have these little, like, seltzer water things that have caffeine in them, so I'm gonna drink one of those to wake me up. Hi. They're like a lemon-lime orange thing. They're uh, citrus-flavored, apparently. I just have coffee, water, Arizona green tea. I do love me some green tea. So, I have something like eight characters or something, I think. Yeah, I only had nine because of Usami. Yeah. Introduction? Hi, Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Nagito Komaeda. Ah. You thought, bitch! You thought! <laughs> you really thought! <laughs> that was so funny! You said you can't be the other lucky student! I was like, okay! I, I sure. figured they just want to reuse it two games in a row. <laughs> okay, Nike. We'll see, that's Whatever the point! You say. Nike wasn't actually the ultimate lucky student, really. This guy is the actual ultimate lucky student. Nagi, Nagito, sorry, but um, uh, Makoto was like actually the ultimate hope. Sorry, I got told by my dog that I had to let her out. Yeah, I heard. 
Yeah, that was so funny. To... Oh man, I was laughing in my head. I was like, "Shut up." I am very talented at always just yeah. zeroing in on the bullshit. Even if I'm wrong, I've still zeroed in on it, and people just look at me like, "What the fuck, dude?" Also, you saw all those girls. Obviously, you can tell which one of them is my waifu. But um, I've got three others. So good luck guessing those. Three others than these ones. The 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 one you know is the one that I've you know cosplaying at. So you, unless you forgot. No, I, I've got it. Then the three so, others besides that one. I mean, I like punk. Punk. Okay. Punk. Uh, she reminds me of Jinx, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chaotic energy. Anarchy. Yeah, chaos. 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 I guess I'll also tell you about my talents so you know why Hope's Peak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least that's what I'm called, anyway. Ultimate lucky student? Right. Through a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student selected at random to attend. Hope Speak Academy is the ultimate lucky student, and that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Yeah, so they do Chosen this every year. Is that really okay? Well, how can they do it every year if the school lasts at least two years and you're only allowed to have one ultimate? How many kind at a time? No, you can have more than one at a time. What well, said that they have to be the best at whatever they are. So if they had yeah, two, yeah, the lucky students... student is just that's the the lottery one they do every year. I think it's that's the weird. one exception to the rule. I mean, is luck even a real talent in the first place? If he has actual luck, it like not. I, unlucky. I don't know. Can someone with luck be a superhero? Don't talk shit about oh. them. By the way, by the uh, way, Cassie. I, uh, I'm trying to do all the achievements for, uh, Danganronpa 1, mm -hmm. so I spent, like, 100 coins to get the last item that was missing out of the Mono Mono Machine. Mm -hmm. I got a lucky thing. The Mono Mono Machine blasted off into the fucking sky. <laughs> Bye, and I'm staring at like, this never happened before! <laughs> Bye, bitch. It just left, and I went... What? <laughs> Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> How strange. What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm not troubled or anything. No, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Like I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Hope Speak Academy. I mean, I just have cool, well, interesting, I won't say cool, interesting hair and a jacket that reminds me a lot of Makoto Naegis, and my face reminds me of Makoto Naegis, and my hair kind of looks like Makoto Naegis whenever he was in despair, and I just look like Super Saiyan Makoto Naegis. Oh my god, I'm just Makoto Naegis. I'm a ripoff. The ultimate Makoto Ma Naegis. <laughs> oh, ultimate Makoto Naegis. Future game! Do it! <laughs> I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. Hope Street Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as the luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope Street Academy, so for that I'm grateful. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. I, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. You look things up, pet. Weren't you the guy literally just saying everything will be okay and that things are probably going great? I feel like you just are pessimistic about yourself and optimistic about other things. Mm. Nag Nagito Komeda. Uh, huh? Uh, Nagito Komeda. Uh, uh. Sorry, somebody <laughs> made his name into a song and it's very catchy. He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy, but he doesn't strike me as a bad person okay. either. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hmm, then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um, I... 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 I opened my mouth, but the words would not form. It felt my thoughts stalling in my head. As if I opened a book expecting to find words and instead found blank pages. What up? We did Kyoko. Mark, question mark, question mark. We did Kyoko the ultimate triple question. What up? It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. 
the memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my head. God, I hate when that happens. Uh-huh. Without realizing, my body began to shudder and waves of discomfort began pounding against me. A hard cut to any time that, you know, Kyoko was realizing she couldn't remember something. It was just like looking like she was in pain, just shuddering. What happened? Hachime, what's wrong? What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how bad how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. So I don't think you need to worry about it all, all that much. You're right. Then I guess we're done with, for, with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. Obtained hope for... What? What? Hope fragment? Yeah. So that's the second one of those I have because I got one of those during the ending of Danganronpa 1's school mode. Hey, did something just beep? What a weird sound. I hastily stuck my hand in my pocket. That's right, that strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. What the hell is this? It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why something like this inside my pocket? Are you okay? You saw me was passing them out earlier, remember? <laughs> oh right, you seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Now that you mention it, I think I kind of remember, but what is this? It's an e-handbook. So we're the ultimate amnesiac. We just constantly lose our memory, and that's what we're brought in. What the? Where'd you come from? Did I startle you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um. Anyway, don't you think it's cool? The hammock is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. This device is that important? I shall I've asked everyone to use their e handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? That's right. Uh, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with all your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. Gather hope fragments as the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. Love, love. Hey, she's gone. A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears whenever and wherever she wants. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was that all about, Hope Fragments? What's her deal? It's like we're in a game or something. <laughs> that's great. If this feels like a game, that's rather comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. You're probably right, but... More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Then I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. That's also true, but where did everyone go? Perhaps. Maybe they're exploring the island as well. Exploring the island? As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's the island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? So why don't we finish our introduction ourselves to the other? finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time. I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So he's the Mizuno. He is our assistant for now. Damn, so now don't, don't do him like that. Don't don't make it so he gonna be the first one to die. Don't do that to him. He won't. He won't. Uh, he's, he's too lucky. He is the fragment of hope we just obtained. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. Just so, so you know, by the way, you get one hope fragment for introducing yourself to everybody, and then there's a max of six, so there's um, five events, everyone. It's not okay. uneven like it was in one. Wait, what do you mean? In one, some people could have, like, five events, some people could have, like, nine. Uh, seven... Seven for Jack. Yeah, so in this one, everybody just has five. Okay, cool. Shall we get going then? 
But is this really okay? And to feel so relaxed in such a strange situation? Perhaps it's the tropical climate. Or is it that, what's her name? It's Somi's fault. What happened? So Usami's just a pun on Usagi, right? Well, I think Usami is also another word that means rabbit in Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. You know how What's there's it? multiple words for rabbit in English? So I think there's just multiple words for in Japanese, too. You mean, like, rabbit and bunny and things like that? Yeah, I think so. What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Right. Got it. At any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh, what kind of nightmare is that? You're not able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various, to check various information throughout the game. You can open up the handbook, includes the guidelines of the school trip, and you can blah, 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 it doesn't matter. You can also use the transcript of the back button. Okay, so this is a lot different than the last time. There's no animation thing that plays every time you try to bring it up, which is kind of appreciated. Yeah. So that's your poor card. You know, one hope fragment with him. He likes pretty things, dislikes noisy places, he's the ultimate lucky student. This guy's thin as fuck. He weighs 143 pounds. Yeah. He's five foot fucking he is nine. Brawny boy. Do you not see him? It tells us their chest size. Yes. That's just inappropriate. Hey. Uh, about exploring the island. It appears a map of the island has been installed under the sea handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually. To be honest, before I arrived at the school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Eh? Huh? You don't know? This school's so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about the students. So, the both Ultimate Lucky students both did the same thing before coming here, got here for the same reason, both have the same kind of style to them. And both just have the same voice. Yeah. I feel like... So, I'm not sure yet, but I think I'm being fucked with. I think this is fucking Makoto Naegi. I think he's literally just fucking with me. Okay. Then was I also? I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you really can't remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake, I was accepted in Hope's Peak yep. Academy. Anyway, I'll help out too, so why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So I'll need to make it I'll need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island then. If you go back to your menu, by the way. Oh, never mind. Do the do the tutorial thing first. Um Yeah. You're, okay, it's you're just gonna wanna not game. teleport though. Don't do that. Why? Go with this. Are you saying when we teleport, our little pet thing can die? Uh, no. You level up the pet thing by walking. So, when you teleport, oh, okay. it doesn't count towards it. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Now, I want you to walk, and I want you to run. <laughs> Alright, go to the menu and look at your pet. Did the bottom. Egg! So, 75 steps until it grows out of the egg. Okay. So, you could just do your exploring if you want to, because you'll probably get that in the room. Well, before I do any exploring, I'm literally just taking those steps to get to the first stage, and then after that, I won't care. Okay. I would suggest starting with the right, by the way. Like, going to the right when you start introducing yourself to people. Oh. 
all the way to the right. There we go. First stage. Chibi me. A tooth? Oh no, it's a bunny. Okay. Chibi me. <laughs> So, yeah. you can give it presents, and that'll raise its hope meter, but also it shits, and if the shit makes it out of the toilet, the despair meter goes up, and if you leave it alone for too long, it will shit itself to death. Okay. So, the more you walk, the more it levels up, but also it can shit, so I'd say start Should I there. Should yeah. go here? Yeah, okay. just go to every location to the right. Just a sec, I need to look at one thing. Yeah, guys, next time on Let's Wait Danganronpa 2, we're going to call that the episode. We're going to continue on. We're going to introduce ourselves, and remember, no one dies in Danganronpa. Why the f- wait, it's Jabberwock Island? Shh. We're going to move on from this. See you guys next time. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't think about that. I mean, you find that out in, like, a minute, so... Yeah, but just like, oh, they're trying to find out the name of the island. I open up my PDA and it says the name, and I'm like, guys? I <laughs> oh, you know. Guys! <laughs>